हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टेक्नो एजुकेशन एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज हाई प्रेशर बॉयलर व्हाट आर द यूनिक फीचर्स ऑफ हाई प्रेशर बॉयलर एंड व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ हाई प्रेशर बॉयलर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज बॉयलर ए बॉयलर इज अ क्लोज वेसल मेड ऑफ स्टील इन व्हिच इट इज ट्रांसफर्ड टू वाटर बाय कंबशन ऑफ फ्यूल which uh, vaporizes the water and it is converted into steam at desired pressure and temperature and this steam is utilized to rotate the turbine or we can say prime mover so it will produce the power or in some of the cases we can also utilize this steam okay in dairy industry in textile industry in power generation in steam refrigeration okay there are so many application of steam we have already discussed in our previous lecture the boiler which generate the steam below 80 bar pressure is called low pressure boiler whereas boiler which generate the steam at 80 bar pressure and above 80 bar pressure it is called high pressure boiler modern high pressure water tube boilers are used for power generation with steam capacities of about 30 to 650 tons per hour and above with pressure up to 160 bar and maximum steam temperature of about 540 degrees celsius the different types of modern high pressure boilers are la mount boiler benson boiler loffler boiler schemedit hartman boiler and velox boiler okay in our next video lecture we will discuss high pressure boiler one by one what are the unique features of high pressure boiler the first feature is method of water circulation the water circulated in the boiler may be natural circulation due to density difference between hot and cold water or may have force circulation caused by a centrifugal pump as the boiler pressure increases the pressure difference causing the natural flow of water decreases and become zero at the critical pressure of steam the critical pressure of steam as we know that 221 bar because at this pressure the density of steam and water is same means there is no any difference of densities so natural circulation ceases or we can say natural circulation stop so use of natural circulation is uh, limited to sub critical boiler up to 140 bar pressure and use of force circulation becomes necessary for critical and supercritical boilers so the heat transfer rate is increased due to the use of high water velocity in force circulation considerable increase in pressure can be produced by use of small diameter tubes in the boiler so this is the unique feature of the boiler force circulation the second feature arrangement of tubing and drum in a water tube boilers if the flow take place through one continuous tube large pressure drop take place due to friction if the water tubes are arranged in parallel the pressure losses due to friction is reduced considerably and it provides better control over the quality of the steam high pressure boilers use very small size drum and in a super critical boilers drum is completely absent or we can say removed improper circulation of steam vapor mixture causes film boiling in which steam bubbles remain in contact with the tube metal causing boiler tube failure film boiling can be prevented using once through boiler okay here you can see that this is a schematic diagram of once through boiler which water enters at the bottom of the tube and completely transform into superheated steam as the steam is discharged through the superheater complete operation of uh, feed water heating steam formation and superheating of steam take place in a single tube thus these boilers do not need a steam drum here we are using steam separator to separate the steam and uh, this uh, steam further it will pass through the superheater and it is converted into superheated steam the third method is improved method of heating okay following improved method of heating can be used to increase the heat transfer rate 
the first one is uh, water can be heated by mixing it with superheated steam it gives very high heat transfer coefficient the second one by using pressure above the critical pressure there is a saving of latent heat of evaporation of water the third one by increasing the water velocity inside the tube and increasing the gas velocity above sonic velocity increases the overall heat transfer coefficient the fourth one heat transfer can be uh, increased by using all the three modes of heat transfer conduction convection and radiation in modern boilers about 35 percentage of the total heat transfer take place due to radiation we have already discussed okay uh, there are basically three mode of heat transfer conduction convection and radiation in our uh, previous video lecture of heat transfer now what are the advantages of the high pressure boiler the first advantage the tendency of scale formation is eliminated due to high velocity of water through the boiler tubes okay here uh, we are using four circulation we have already discussed in unique feature so due to high velocity okay the tendency of scale formation is eliminated the second one due to use of four circulation it ensures positive circulation and increase the evaporative capacity of the boiler and less number of drums will be required the third advantage the rate of firing of fuel and hence the rate of heat release is increased as a pressurized combustion is used Another advantage, small size and lightweight tubes with better heat transfer arrangement or we can say heat transfer surface area arrangement. It makes the unit compact, occupy less space and also reduces the cost of the equipment. The next advantage, all the parts are uniformly heated. Therefore, danger of overheating and thermal stresses are reduced. Next advantage. The differential expansion is uh, reduced due to uniform temperature and this reduces uh, possibility of gas and air leakages. Due to the use of force circulation, there is a greater flexibility in the component of arrangement as they can be arranged horizontally as high head required for natural circulation is eliminated. The next advantage, steam can be uh, raised quickly to meet the variable load requirement okay so it will fulfill the demand okay whenever it is required by use of high pressure and high temperature steam the output of the turbine increases and hence the efficiency of the plant is increased up to 40 to 42 percentage a very rapid start from cold is possible if external supply of power is available so these all are the advantages of the high pressure boiler so in next video lecture we will discuss lamb mount boiler i hope this content it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends thank you friends